Hey there everybody, Thet here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom. Last time we faced the first Blood Moon with no real issues. I mean, we kind of, almost, sort of, maybe lost someone, but not really. Just got a couple of bows beaten back out of us, but they didn't get stolen, so we're all okay. So our priority for the next five days, for the next Blood Moon, is going to be to expand a little bit to the left. I'm just going to expand to right here for now. And then after that, I might expand farther, but probably not for a while. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this wall to level 2 and get that done right away. Always be recruiting, though, so I'm going to head to the right side. I'm going to grab some more humans to join us. You guys can keep that money for right this second. Right now, i got to get people walking toward my camp. All right. We should be able to get another six people, which is a good amount of archers. And we have three craftsmen right now, so usually only two craftsmen can work at, on one building at one time. So, depending on whether you're trying to expand both ways, which I generally do not recommend you do, uh, you, you'll usually... Ugh, I, can, I can say words, I promise. You'll usually be okay with two to four craftsmen, I would say. Should only really do more once your kingdom gets really large if you stub portals on both sides. But we're going to try to not have that problem. Because I am going to start getting aggressive probably after the 10th blood... or 10th blood moon. A uh, 10th day. So the second blood moon. In other words, the one that you'll see at the end of this video is going to mark the end of my passive growth. I should say aggressive growth, but I'm going to stop defending and start attacking a little bit. Let me put it that way. Are we already out of bows for you guys? Wow. Okay. There we go. Okay, now we're at a point where getting us more archers is not going to make us more money. So what does that mean? That means we need to find other ways to make money. And the other way is going to involve those scythes that we saw earlier in the last video. Scythes allow you to farm. Farms require this little uh, waterfall right here. So I'm going to have to bust down these three trees to expand this far, and then I can start farming there. And I even have a wall right here if I want to actually expand that farm. It's a pr this is a pretty good layout for the start here. Alright, catapult on both sides. That's very good. Lots of archers on each side. I love that. We have a decent sized army, We have a and it's going to grow a little bit more. These guys should be able to make it into camp with no problem by the end of this night. And on the left side, because we've expanded a bit, we shouldn't have any problems over here. Yeah. Okay. So the farmers are the ones that bring in very nice money. Uh, compared to archers who have to shoot down a rabbit every time, the farmers will farm, as their name suggests, and they'll bring in about three to six gold every day. Very reliable. Sometimes, if you have quite a few archers, you can get more, obviously. But they will start uh, hitting diminishing returns before the farmers, in my opinion. You're definitely going to want some f farmers in your kingdom. Okay. We're at day seven. The bell has not rung yet, so they're not going out. The technical day doesn't start for your peasants until the church bells ring, so they won't go out and start hunting or farming until that happens. Plus, you won't get your little tax chest or whatever it's called in the middle here until you get that. So that's kind of what we're waiting for. Sometimes it takes a while. Okay, come on, guys. I need this cash. I want to go out there. I want to be recruiting. Always be recruiting. Come on. Why is it taking so long? What is this? It's, it's going to wait till the middle of the day. Okay, there it is. Finally. All right. Good. That'll let us uh, get everyone who's wandering out here, or at least it should. Now, I did mention the watchtowers in my previous video, but you'll notice I haven't built any yet. Watchtowers have a couple of major advantages and a couple of major disadvantages to them. The advantage is it gives your archer or archers, if you upgrade enough, you can have more than one on the watchtower. Um, it gives them a height advantage, which makes them a little bit more accurate. 
on enemies on the ground. The major disadvantage to it, though, is that it always has to be manned. And the archer who is manning it will never move from the watchtower, period. That in itself, the advantage to that is, of course, that you have a constant defender in a location. But if that defender gets hurt or worse, then someone else will always go to take his place, as long as you have an archer that can do that. They will wander out to wherever that watchtower is to basically make sure that it's defended. In other words... You don't want that to happen in the middle of a siege. So that can be bad. And that's what we that's why I'm going to be very careful about building watchtowers. Okay. Let's get a couple more of these. Let's build one hammer. Let's get another of these guys out here. And tomorrow we're going to knock down these trees. And I'm going to start a farm. We're going to save that for tomorrow because it's getting late. It's not major, but yeah. So we're gonna knock down these three trees. We're gonna start ourselves at farm, and I we're probably gonna build that wall that's in front of the farm too. Once we do that, we should get a very very nice income. All right, eat up, little horsey. Not going to build bows for these guys. I think they're gonna be our first farmers, assuming everything goes well. I'm an optimi- I, I swear I can talk. I'm optimistic about it. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, it is night time. Do I have anything to worry about? I don't think so. So the catapults, for those of you who don't know, they shoot a giant rock, of course. That's what a catapult does. Uh, it can go through multiple of the small enemies. It can go through multiple pretty much anyone. That's the problem, though. It's always premature. Very disappointing. For y your lovely queens. Um, and it has to be manually reloaded by one of your craftsmen. That kind of sucks. It's not the end of the world kind of sucks, but it's it's pretty close. Okay. we have That's going to be all for this night. Like I said, it's, you can fairly reliably depend on the idea that you're not going to see a lot of enemies early on except on blood moons. It's fairly reliable. Okay. That next day started really early and I like that. It gives me a lot more time to start getting stuff done. Alright, as I said before, we'll always be recruiting, so let's start recruiting. You guys are going to come... I'm going to... Words... You're going to give me that cash when I come back. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some kills. By that, I mean get some recruitments. Okay. Ooh, two from here. I like that. Maybe there will be two in the other place when I come back. I doubt it. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. So, let's go back. We're going to get a couple of sides. We're going to have a couple of farmers going on. And once we do that, I think the trees will be chopped down. Okay, took you a while to rest there, Mr. Horsey. That's fine, that's fine, you deserve it. Carting me around all the time. Hey, how, why Why are you going back? I think if you leave them alone too long where they get out giving them an item, they go back. Because they get lonely or something, I don't know. Either way, threw down a couple of sides. We have two farmers now. Grab a couple of bows, too. Let's do three. Sounds good. I should have some money over here. Yep. Alright. Very good. Very nice. It is plenty early in the day, so I feel fine telling my craftsmen to come back out and building this wall and starting this farm. Okay, I think we have plenty of time for that. We have all four coming out, so at the very least, the wall, sh level one wall, should get done. Preferably a level two will get done, but you know, again, we take what we can get. And right now, we need this horse to eat. Okay, that is done. Farthest out craftsman is right here. Okay, we're gonna be fine. And this will be a very, very good point to have our kingdom here for the second blood moon. 
I like what we're doing on expansion. Boom. I'm gonna upgrade this as soon as he's done building it. There we go. Get that to level two, please. And probably on the next day, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade that again to a stone wall. All right. And for some reason, they're dumb. As soon as they're done with that, they go out here and stand around for a bit. I don't know why. This area right here is important, but you'll find that out later. For now, though, I hope all of you guys know that you can move up. Yeah, they're going to reload the catapult, and then they're going to move up to the next area. Yeah, they're kind of, they're kind of, they're kind of dumb like that. So I can upgrade this farm again if I liked, if I would like to. The thing with upgrading the farm is what it does is it provides a shelter for your farmers. And oh man, this is actually very bad placement for them. The shelter is a place where the farmers would literally just stay there until. Okay, they're starting to shoot them now. Finally, there's so few of them though they probably won't even be able to steal anything if they make it through. Yeah, no biggie. It'll just cost me one coin to fix. Okay, we're fine. If I build the upgrade to the farm, our farmers will stay there through the night. That's fine now because I already have a wall in front of that area where they would stay. If I did not, it would be a terrible mistake. So never upgrade your farm unless you have a wall in front of the place where you're going to build it. Okay, we can upgrade this stone right away. And by that I mean as soon as it's repaired. It's going to cost six, that's fine. We have four coins right now, but we're going to go ahead and open up our tax chest. And grab this coin. If you haven't noticed yet, all the silver coins that you see in your coin purse mark your fifth coin. So, for every one coin, oh, silver coin you have, you have five coins in total. There we go. Let's go ahead and actually get another bow, because I saw a guy standing around with nothing to do. And you don't actually have to defend these buildings where your materials are made. I could literally just build my stone wall right here and I'd be fine. In fact, that's what I think I'm going to do. The reason being that if I build my stone wall there, it's right in front of my archery range. I can build more bows and get new people out to the fight right away if I happen to have some trouble at the wall. Later on, I will expand, of course, but for now, that's going to be a workable strategy. Alright, let's recruit some more dudes. Yeah, and yeah. We've got two knights till the Blood Moon, and right now I'm feeling really good about it. Now that I have stone walls on each side, it's going to be much, much, much harder for the guys to get through those. It's a huge difference between the wooden stone walls. Alright. That's why you have to be careful about where you decide to put the first ones, at least. Okay, we can run back now. Thank you, Mr. Horsey. Alright, how many did we recruit? I think we got six dudes again. It's usually the standard amount. Especially if I missed a day of recruiting or something. There we go. Make some more bows. Let's get one more farmer as well. Here we go. Since they're all coming from the right, they will hit the farm place first. Okay. Let's see what we got going on over here. Now, this is a lot of room from my starting area, or my town hall, to the stone wall. And that's only a problem because that means the craftsman will have to come this far out in order to reset the catapult. That's annoying, but it's not a disastrous problem. So with our farmers here, this is probably way too far out for them to be going back and forth every night. I need two more coins. Come on, I know, I know a couple of you are loaded. One of you's got to have more than that. Come on now, you're holding out on me. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Oh boy. Nine coins, and we'll go ahead and drop that down. That's going to increase our gold production quite a bit on the left side. Of course, I'm out of gold, so I don't want to get hit. So I'll probably just kind of stand over here for now. 
There we go. Nice. It's like a little rain of arrows. And this time our wall barely got touched. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. And the walls can do one more upgrade. It literally makes the walls about twice as tall. Whether that upgrade is worth it, it's kind of a tough call. Your catapult has a tough time shooting over that largest size wall. But in general, it makes it so much stronger that it's usually worth it. Okay, day 10. Blood Moon number 2 is going to be on its way. And as you can see, it started raining immediately. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this tax money. I'm the queen, I earned it. I am queen that. I've earned all your tax dollars. Okay, why aren't you... Okay, there we go. Put a nice little shirt on him. Bring him to camp. Turn him to an archer. Let's get some more dudes. Recruit someone every day. Every day you should be recruiting people. If you're not doing that, you're not winning. You're either growing or dying, remember that. Population is either growing or it's dying, and you know which one you want. You guys are smarter than that. I hope. <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's, let's... I know you're tired, but we can hoof back home. Okay. Now we'll see how we handle the second blood moon. I never really know. I don't I don't know if there's a reliable way to tell if it's going to come from the left or the right, other than to watch it actually happen. Okay. Let's grab some more bows, because more archers are always good. I need, need to feed our horse again. There we go. And we're going to let the second blood moon come through and see how we fare. Now, it is going to be a longer run from place to place. As you can probably tell. That stinks, but it's not unexpected. Ooh, lots of money right here. Nice. Some of you guys are doing work. It's nice to see that. Nice to see we're not all lazy bums around here. I'm just saying. You know. Gimme, gimme. Alright. It's almost night time, not... Whoop, 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 whoop. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Not quite yet, though. So what are we looking for in this Blood Moon? I want to see... I want to see our catapults in action, really. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, the hard part, like I said before, getting the Craftsman over here, if it hits the left side, that's going to be a little rough. If the Blood Moon hits the right side, we should be just fine, though. So that's kind of why I'm standing over here to see which side they go on. If you are worried that you're not completely prepared for a Blood Moon... What you can do is this. You can run out to the forest. And you can just start plopping out coins. Because little guys will grab the coins and they will run away. That will thin out the Blood Moon a lot. Me, I'm feeling fairly confident that we should be able to take out the Blood Moon with no casualties. So I'm going to go ahead and let it happen. Okay. Bring it on. Ooh. Thank you for the little coins. And as you can see, the farmers are now sitting underneath this little hut. All safe and cozy and warm. And they will stay that way for the duration of the Blood Moon, I hope. I usually wait till about the Blood Moon is about halfway up and then I check the other side. Which might be a good idea because I don't see anyone on this side yet. I don't hear anyone on that side. So let's check over here. This will be the better side for them to hit because we're... Okay, they definitely hit this side. Those flyers are... They can be terrible. They will literally eat your guys. That means the gold, everything's gone unless you can kill them and get them to drop your guys. Uh, they always go for the... Well, I shouldn't say always, but they usually seem to go after watchtowers first, which is very bad. Little tiny nick in the stone wall, as you can see here. We didn't even see the regular creatures in the Blood Moon. That's why it was very good that they hit the right side. We are very, very well defended right here. And because of that... Next time on Let's Play Kingdom, we are going to get offensive, and we're going to get offensive on the left side, where our defenses are just a little bit weaker because of the amount of land we have over there. Anyway, folks, my name is Thet. If you enjoyed this playthrough of Kingdom, please make sure to leave it a like and subscribe for more. I will see you next time.